Hey guys, this is Vegas Romaniac. Uh, I'm loading my bike today on the trailer and I want to show you the difference between complex ties and simple ties. A lot of people go berserk and buy the expensive ones and I've been, done this before. I also made a very very good review on YouTube about these um, ties, the retractable ties, but uh, I have changed my mind because I have nothing but problems with them. I'm going to show you what's the difference in between them. Here's my bike, it's already loaded to the trailer. I'm going to show you today the difference between uh, retractable, crank, crankable ties, retractable ties, and these very, very simple mechanical ties. Let's start with a typical Harbor Freight one, which is not my favorite. I had these for the first time, and what I don't like about them, as you can see, they're very, very long. You have to put the bottom hook on the, on the bottom hook. And then, there's a little gap over here. So I'll have to slide this entire tie through it. You have to put in this slot, pull on it, and now you can start cranking it up. After a while, you're done. Uh, the problem with this one is that first of all, you have a long piece that's gonna flap all over the place. You can cut it shorter, but putting it through the slot is always annoying. Also, because it's a mechanical thing, it has a tendency to fail. I'll show you what's the problem that actually fails. Even taking it down is not that easy. So the part that has a tendency to fail is this mechanism over here. These little pieces, they usually bend in, so when you pull on this part, it was supposed to lock it in this place. You see there's a little lock that has to go in. That lock pushes this bottom part out that will allow you to release it. Sometimes when these little ears bend, they, don't, they cannot push on, the, on this trigger anymore. So it will never release the, the tie. So I've, I've had a lot of mechanical problems where I have to physically pull with both of my hands this way so I could release it and then try to pull it out. And you don't have three hands, so I don't have to explain that to you. This is not my favorite, that's for sure. A similar, a similar model still from Humber Freight are these, which are a little bit more solid as far as the mechanical part goes, but they're still the same principle. You have to put the, the once you get them together, once you hook them up, you have to put this through the slot, like this, and pull it through, and then crank it up, and so and so. And then when you release it, again, you have to go all the way to the top, and then pull on it, and hopefully it's gonna start spinning. It is not dry enough, so it doesn't have any oil, and it will not spin. I said, hey, let's go fancy. So I paid uh, $40 for a set of four. These are the retractable ones. Now I modified them a little bit. I put a 90 degrees hook, a 45 degrees hook, and also a safety carabin over here, just so the bike never falls off. But these also have a huge disadvantage. So the idea behind these, it's a lot simpler than before. So what you do is you hook up the hook over here, they are retractable, so they will expand automatically, so all the, all the tie is in here, so it will not flatten the wing. You put it around the hook, on the bottom part of the trailer. And now, if you just pull on this ratchet, as the other one before. the motorcycle is locked in place. So these are definitely more manageable than the ones that I showed you before, but these have a major flaw, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Take them off. You have to push this red button to release them. It not always works. In this case, it actually works. But sometimes when you get them too tight, you can push this button to make the, the system uh, unlock so that is a 
a little bit of annoying. Also, they're big and bulky and they have a tendency to rub on fenders and when you drive at high speed they're so big, they have so much mass, they wobble all over the place. And that's a big problem if your trailer is open like mine. The bigger problem though is this mechanism is very, very complex and it is prone to failure. So if something happens to this mechanism, your entire tire is going to unwind and your motorcycle will fall off. So because of that, I always felt like I had to double up. So I had to put two of them at the same time. And if you put two of them at the same time, they start rubbing against each other and then you're going to have this kind of problems, as you can see over here. So they're going to worn out and that's not really the best thing in the world. But there is something even worse than the mechanism itself. There is a spring over here. This spring makes this ratchet retract. So when you push this button, as you can see, it retracts automatically. The problem is that sometimes when you are on the bike and you're trying to lower it off the trailer, you have to drop these things. You can't hold, hang on to the bike and these things in the same time. And I dropped it on this part, this plastic part, which came off, the, the spring came off, and then the entire mechanism became useless. So these are nice because they're fairly organized as far as how they work but the complexity of the system and the spring and the fact that you have to take care of them and you have to be very very careful where you put them and and how you drop them or if they fall off the trailer or if you step on them that makes them basically useless uh, to me uh, i was looking for a better solution and i think i found it these i have these for about a year and by far they're the best ones uh, they're hooked up together they come with a very simple mechanism, which is mechanical. It all it has is a little spring, and it uses pressure over here between these teeth that hold the material in place. So how they work is you hook it up to the bike and to the trailer. So to put it bottom on. And look how simple it is to get the, the bike in place. All you have to do is just pull on it, and it's done. No cranking. No fiddling with putting things through the slot and all that stuff. All you have to do is literally just pull on it. And if you want to get it more tight, just pull a little bit more and they lock automatically in place. Also to avoid for these things to flap in the wind, you can either attach them towards the bottom or I could make a knot around the wheel over here. And they will just stay in place forever, basically. What I like also about these ratchets, and they're so simple, and they're so cheap, they're about $15 for one of these, and it's so cheap to buy them. What I like about these is that if you wanna, if you wanna release the bike, all you have to do is just pull a little bit on it, pull down, push this little button, and it's off. This is the simplest zip, the simplest tie to use. I absolutely love these things, and one of my friends, uh, Dan, recommended them, I didn't believe them because they're so simple, but just because they're simple are so beautiful. So, I'm going to show you again. Just hook it up over there, hook it up to the trailer, and literally just pull on it, and your bike is up. Just pull a little bit on the bike, push the button, and they basically release themselves and they're good to go. Now, I have seen a model that actually has these loops built in. I'm going to find a link for you. I'm going to put it in the video description. There is a uh, special loop that you have that you can put around your handlebars so this doesn't damage your handlebars. And they're specifically made for dirt bikes. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the video description for them. But these are my favorite. Simple, they do exactly what I need them to do. And that's really as the most important thing for me.